Hey guys, uh, another conversation that's come up here recently, uh, talking to some of the guys on Skype from the uh, 40k Nation community, was uh, I'm actually going to attempt to make my own uh, figure foam for the uh, transport of my army. Right now I've basically just been uh, using cardboard boxes and whatnot and just layering bubble wrap in between the layers of my figures. Which worked when I had about a thousand points, but now that I'm approaching 2,000, it's getting a little more riskier. So here's what I'm going to do. I've got, came up with this idea. Uh, this was ba basically stolen from the idea of one of the guys at my local shop. He actually has a little bit of a uh, how-to with pictures and text on his blog and kind of gave me the uh, inspiration to try this myself and kind of cross-referenced with the idea that he did but I'm going to actually make it a little more compatible with Sable's army transport line and their figure foam which all I'm going to need is scissors, a utility knife, a sharpie I've got two different size foams here I've got a 3 inch thick by 14 by 14 and then I've got two inch thick, 14 by 14, and then just some standard PVA glue. Now, brief rundown of what I'm gonna do here. Oh, before I forget, I've also got the uh, foam sheets here, which are 12 inch by 18 inch. And that's basically gonna be glued to the bottom of the thicker foam as my backing. So what's going to happen, for instance, is the 3 inch foam here is going to get cut in half right down the middle. Now that's going to give me 7 inches across, 3 inches deep, and I'm actually going to shave 2 inches, or actually an inch, off the end. Because the... Uh, Sable transports so their figure foam is actually seven and a half by 13. So the only difference is going to be the uh, half inch on the across here. So I'll have seven by seven rather than seven and a half by seven and a half. So in essence, I can make my own figure foams rather than spending about nine dollars per tray, and I'll end up getting two pieces which at my Hobby Lobby here was $4.99. So in essence, I get, I can make four, four trays for the price of one from Sable, which even Sable, I think, is a better deal than the uh, uh, Battle Foam, which don't get me wrong, those are great products, but you know, when you're on a budget, you gotta figure out other alternatives. So that's just a quick rundown uh, I'll give you guys an update here as I go. I don't know how much of it I'm going to film uh, actually doing, but I'll let you guys know how it goes and keep you posted. Thanks.